Hello friends, I Pankaj Dumka welcomes you all to this session on Python for Mechanical Engineers. Today, I will be telling you that how to uh, use finite difference or how to code finite difference using uh, NumPy library. Now before that, let me quickly give you a glimpse of what is finite difference. So if you have a differential equation or let us say you want to find the slope of uh, some function at a particular point let us say at this at x you want to find the slope and what is known to you the function okay then what you will be doing is you will be moving a slight amount let us say by h distance forward and again try to find out the value of the function at that particular point and then you divide it by the uh, the distance which you have moved that is h how this is appearing this is appearing by the taylor series expansion basically which is uh, if you want to find out the value of function at some vicinity of x let us say by h then fx will be fx plus h will be fx plus uh, d, uh, df by dx um, at uh, this x and then uh, del, uh, h plus d2f by dx2 h square by 2 factorial and so on so if you slightly rearrange this then you will be getting an order of accuracy of h likewise the same uh, slope can also be evaluated at this point by with the help of a point which is uh, in previous that means uh, backward direction so what you will be doing is to find out the slope here you will be finding the f x plus h sorry there is this is wrong it should be fx minus fx minus h by h so this is what i have written here so in forward difference it is the value of function at x plus h and then minus the value of the function at x divided by the distance between these two points likewise the backward difference it is fx minus fx minus h that is here divided by this distance h now in central difference what we do if you want to find out the slope at this point then we will be taking the point in the backward and the forward direction so that is fx plus h minus fx minus h by 2h and how we arrive at this what we will be doing is we will be writing a taylor series expansion for fx plus h then fx minus h and then simply subtracting one from the another so what will happen this forward difference and the backward difference these are basically the having the order of accuracy of h whereas the central difference will be having an order of accuracy of h square that is more accurate in comparison to the backward and forward and when it comes to the second derivative so that is fx plus h minus 2fx plus fx minus h by h square so how this is arrived at this is arrived at first we write this Taylor series expansion of fx plus h and then fx minus h and simply we will be adding them up so we'll be arriving here again this second derivative is uh, having an order of accuracy of a uh, h square very much accurate and one more thing is if you reduce this step size h then the order of accuracy of the forward and backward will converge and will arrive at the point when h exactly 10 to 0 then they all will be saying the giving the same result now how to find out this using uh, numpy so let us say i have a function 4x cube plus 3x square minus 5x plus 9 and i know the differentiation of this is 12x square plus 6x minus 5 so first of all i'll be <coughs> importing the library numpy and uh, then uh, once this is done then what i'll be doing is i will be uh, defining a function having the coefficients as the uh, elements of the array so let us say f is this array having elements uh, 4 3 minus 5 and 9 so if you look this these are the elements but the thing which you should understand here is that this is the uh, elements in the reducing order of the uh, exponent of this variable x okay so now if you want to differentiate this so how to do that let us say df dx 
So df by dx will be what? We will be using the function poly there that means polynomial differentiation and we will be supplying the function which we want, we want to differentiate. So let us check what is this. Okay, it is 12, 6 and minus 5. So the coefficient are 12, 6 and minus 5. That means this is working. So if you want to evaluate the value of this function, let us say at some point x is equal to 1. Okay, so what we will be doing is we will be uh, evaluating the function uh, this at with the help of poly val and uh, we will be evaluating this df dx at x is equal to 1. Okay. So let us say uh, this is the ex exact. Okay. So the exact is this and then printing the exact. So, so that is 30. So now we will we want to do the same thing but using numerical techniques that is first forward difference then backward difference and likewise central difference. So forward difference is the value of this at some step size h minus this by that step size. So let us start. So let us the function is the same and we want to find out the forward difference. Okay. So uh, df dx forward is equal to um, the polyval that is the value of the function at uh, uh, some x plus h okay so what is the value of x naught it is basically x is basically 1 here so let me say this x is equal to 1 i am interested in and h the step size i am taking as 0 0.1 so that is polyval this function at x plus h that is 1 that is x plus h and then again evaluate this function at uh, x only and then divide it by h so this is your uh, uh, the numerical magnitude of the function using forward difference so you can very well appreciate the fact that this is forwardly uh, what should i say biased so it is giving the result somewhere here so let us move to backward difference so what let me write this as forward difference so backward so the for the backward difference let me copy this uh, not everything is required Okay, so let us call this B backward difference and here it is F at simply X and then X minus H. So this is the backward one. So it is 11.54. So uh, the value of the function at this X is equal to 1 plus H was 14.54 uh, and at minus H is here it is minus it is minus x minus h it is 11.54 now let us move to central difference so here let me paste this again so let us call this c so this is x minus h and then divided by 2h and that's it so now it is 13.04 very close to the value so why because this is second order accurate so in this way you can evaluate the slope of the function using forward difference backward difference and the central difference at the same time you can find out the error the absolute value of the error so the error um, uh, for the central difference is the absolute value of uh, df dx uh, central difference uh, minus uh, this value exact likewise let me copy this because and this is back let us say forward backward and then central I am interested in and let us print this so print um, forward difference from IFD sorry it is df underscore dx underscore f and copy this this is backward difference this is bd 
and likewise the central difference that is CD and the results are like this no oh, what sorry error has to be plotted not this so the uh, error for oh sorry there is a different this is the for forward this is for backward and this is for central so the errors are like this so the least error is coming in case of central difference therefore the central difference is much more accurate in comparison to others and in this way you can code the finite difference procedure in python uh, using numpy library that means two functions we have used uh, these are polyder for uh, differentiation differentiating the polynomial and polyval to evaluate for the evaluation of the polynomial at some value so in this lecture till this point only thank you very much